Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Horace, and today I'm giving a review of the Olympus CX23 microscope. This video is going to be split up into four parts. Firstly, I'll talk about the specs. Then, I'll share about some things that I like about the microscope, and some things that I don't like about the microscope. And I'll end by comparing the Olympus microscope with some cheaper Swift microscopes. Let's get into it. Now, let's talk about the specs. I'll post the specs here. But basically, the so Olympus microscope has everything a standard relative high-end microscope should have. Meaning that it has binocular eyepieces, four objectives, a mechanical stage, coarse and fine focus knobs, a light intensity regulator, a condenser, a diaphragm, and a cooler elimination attachment possibility. This microscope weighs in about 6 kilograms, and it's made up of plastic and metal combined together. So these are the specs. Now let's get on to what I like about it. Now the things that I like about the microscope. Firstly, ergonomics. This microscope is really comfortable to use because it's two things, the binocular head and the XYZ axis knobs. So the adjustment knob for the mechanical stage and the fine and coarse focus knobs is placed in such a way that they are very close together and they are very close to the surface of the table. So I can rest one hand on the table and I can control all three axes with one hand, which is a very convenient way to use the microscope. The binocular head and the wide field eyepieces along with rubber eye cups allow me to use the microscope for long periods of time without any, without any eye strain. The second thing that I like about the microscope is the image quality of it. The image quality of the Olympus microscope is fantastic and you would expect it right given the high price of the microscope. The colors are vibrant, the image quality is sharp to the edge, and the objective technology of this microscope is what is so called plan objectives, which are like a fancier type of, of objective, and I think they are better than like more basic objectives like achromatic objectives. What plan objective means is basically that the image is sharp all to the edge, whereas with achromatic objectives, the image might be slightly blurry on the edges. And I this is like a very, very weird way of presenting it, but I think with the great image quality of the microscope, it actually invites me to use it for longer times than um, I would have otherwise. For example, if you have a microscope that has pr that produces a very blurry and a very dark and like just not not very good image, you wouldn't want to use it for a very long time. But if you have a microscope that produces great images, you want to use it, you want to observe for longer periods of time. The third thing that I really like about this microscope is its build quality. Now this is a kind of two-faced opinion, because on one hand, the main body of the microscope is made out of plastic, which I'm not the biggest fan of. However, even though it's made out of plastic, the base is made out of metal. So the microscope feels very solid. Also, for a binocular microscope that only weighs only weighs six kilograms, it's actually very light, and it's like one of the main selling points of this microscope. It's the lightest microscope in its class. Yes, microscopes can be can be very heavy, and six kilograms is not light, but it's relatively light compared to even more high-end microscopes. So even with a relatively light weight, the microscope still feels very sturdy and it doesn't wriggle or wobble on the table. Also, the knobs, the lubrication oil added to the knobs are very nice and whenever I turn it, it just, it turns very smoothly and it's a very satisfying process to do, especially the nose piece. The last thing is just is the design and it, and it just looks very pretty. The microscope I really like how the white edges of the microscope are matched with the blue sides, the blue handles of the microscope, and I think it really looks very, very nice. Now let's move on to the things that I don't like about it. So 
but what do I don't like about this microscope? Again, there's two things. Firstly, is how how the objectives are and the eyepieces are student proof, meaning that you can't remove them without using a lot a lot of force. The eyepiece can cannot be removed if you don't use screws. The objectives, there are no screws, but I cannot take it out even with all my strength. Up. I think it's fixed into place and you can't replace them, you can't upgrade them. The eyepieces are also not standard eyepieces. So the sort of the microscopes that I will show you very soon have interchangeable eyepieces, meaning that you can just like buy a cheap eyepiece of Amazon and you can stick it in there. The Olympus microscope is a little bit different because the eyepiece, the diameter of the tube is different from other standardized eyepieces. So I cannot fit other eyepieces into the Olympus one. And that's like slightly annoying, but really, realistically you you wouldn't upgrade eyepieces and objectives on this microscope. And the other thing that I don't really like about it is the thing that I just mentioned and it's how plastic is mainly used for the construction and design the build quality of this microscope. So for this very this microscope is very expensive. It costs about about fifteen hundred U US dollars I think and for that price, you would expect a microscope to be made out of metal, and it's made out. It, it is made out of metal, but only on the base and the sides. The exterior of the microscope is mainly coated in plastic, and the reason the manufacturers use the plastic is not entirely because of cost savings. It's because of how plastic may protect the microscope from potential acidic and alkali stains like methylate blue because when you're observing slide a lot of the time the specimens are quite transparent and you will want to add stains to make it more visible and if you drop one of those stains on a metal a metal coating it, it, it will not end well so plastic is used to protect the microscope and I, I would still prefer it to be metal but, but plastic is still quite nice so these are the things that I like about it. Now, let's move on to the last part, compare the microscopes. So I have here the Swift SS110 microscope. The, another Swift microscope, this is the, the, like the big brother of the previous one. And it's called the SW200 Mark TL something. And this is the Olympus CX23 microscope. Now, the price difference of these three microscopes is absolutely absurd. This microscope costs about $70. This costs about $100. And this costs upwards of $1,000. And what do you get for paying 10 times the price? Well, you get like a much better objectives. Obviously, the worst objectives is from this microscope. This microscope is actually a very good one. And if you are, if you want a lightweight portable microscope that operates with battery, then these are basically the, the best portable microscopes. But the image quality is not the best. It's like not the best, obviously. This microscope has standard 160 millimeter objectives, and so you can upgrade them. And this is a very, this is actually a very nice microscope. The exterior of this microscope is actually made out of metal, and in some way, uh, the the blue sides are made out of plastic, but the white, the white parts are made out of metal. The stage is also made out of metal with this microscope, whereas these two are made out of plastic. Now, let me show you an image quality comparison between these three microscopes. And I'm gonna switch to voiceover. This is a sample of red blood cells from the Swift SS110 microscope. You can clearly see the red blood cells, but the image is a little bit fuzzy. There's some chromatic aberration on the edges, and as I say, it's a little bit fuzzy around the edges. Now, if we take a look at the image from the more expensive Swift microscope. The image is a lot clearer. There is less chromatic aberration, but the image is still a little bit fuzzy on the sides. 
The Olympus microscope, however, removes all that chromatic aberration, which is the the blue fringing around the edges. The image is sharp to the edge, and the image is a lot wider, so you can see more red blood cells. It's also more brighter and natural looking. Now, if we compare the three side by side, you can see that obviously the more expensive you pay for a microscope, the better the image is going to be. However, the swift both with the microscopes are quite good. So that's it. That's the review of the Olympus CX23 microscope. If you want to know how to use the microscope, press here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.